Hi children, so in today's math session we are going to be looking at time again and our focus for today is years, months, weeks and days. So just like uh, previous sessions you are going to need some paper or um, a whiteboard and something to write with. I am going to be working through the questions and as I am going through I would be expecting you to be making notes and things on your whiteboard or your piece of paper and then checking back with me looking at my working out seeing if you've gone wrong where you've gone wrong or celebrating brilliant I've got that okay so first few questions here which months have the most days which month has the fewest days how many months have 28 days how many days are in one year how many weeks are in two years how often do leap years occur which month gets an extra day in a leap year well in order to be able to answer those questions we need to look at days weeks months and years so if we're looking at days first in terms of our units of measure this week uh, this session sorry days is the shortest okay as we discussed in yesterday we have 24 hours in a day so days in relation to weeks we know all of these things but again just good to refresh in our mind we have seven days in a week then we put our weeks together generally there are around four four weeks in a month but that's for full weeks. There are usually an extra couple of days in most months as well. Uh, and then we have 12 months in a year. Okay, so to remember the number of days in months, we have this rhyme, but we also have our hands. And I like to use the knuckle trick to remember this. So if we are trying to remember how many days there are in a month, we can use our knuckles and we can go up and down. So we can say January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And on the knuckles that stick up, these bony ones, those months all have 31 days. On the bits where you go down in between those bones, those do not have 31 days. All of those ones, apart from this one, all of these ones have 30 days. This one is February and this one has 28 days. Okay, we've also got this little rhyme here. 30 days has September, April, June and November. All the rest have 31 excepting February alone, which only has 28 days clear and 29 in each leap year. A leap year occurs every fourth year because as we go around the sun, we actually, it takes us 365 and a quarter days to make one full um, journey around the sun, but we don't count that quarter day each year. We aggregate them together, we add them up together. Uh, over four years and every four years we put the four quarters together and that makes one whole day so every fourth year we have a year which is called a leap year which has 366 days usually we have 365 days in a year 365 and a quarter it's all very complicated but it helps us to remember okay so let's have a look at back at these questions now have a go at them Think about the rhyme, think about use your hands, have a go answering these questions and then we will answer them together. Okay, which months have the most days? Well, we've got January, March, May, July, August, October and December because all of those months have 31 days each. Okay, and you can see here, we knew that was going to be plural because it said which months. So you always read the question really carefully because if we look at the second question, it says which month has the fewest days. So we know that's going to be one and one, the name of one month, it's gonna be a singular answer. And in this case, the month that has the fewest days, this one here is February, it only has 28 days. Sorry if you can hear that noise in the background. Charlie is just a little bit thirsty, he's helping himself to a drink. Okay, how many months have 28 days? Now, I believe this one is a bit of a trick question. There are two different ways that you can answer this question. Okay, February, to the total number of days in, uh, Febu in February is 28. However, all of the months have 28 days because most of them have more. So it depends on how tricky you want it to be when answering that one. How many days are in one year? 365 and a quarter days, unless it's a leap year, where we have 366 days. How many weeks are in two years? Well, as we discussed earlier, there are 52 weeks in one year. So multiply that by two, double it, 104 weeks. How often do leap years occur? Well, as we said again, 
quarters each year. So when we get those four quarters, our numerator and denominator are, the, are equal. So it gives us that whole day. So they occur every four years, once every four years. Okay, maybe have a look at when our next one is going to be. They are, on, they are always on an even numbered year. I think it may be 2024, but I'm not certain. Okay, and which month gets an extra day in the leap year? Well, we give that one to February. Okay, let's carry on with our next problem. So remember, I am going to show you the question, pause the video, have a go at it. If you're not sure before I work it through, that's fine. Just watch it and work it through with me. So your first questions are, there are so many days in January, there are how many months in half a year, and there are how many days in five weeks and three days. So have a go at those for me, please. Okay, knuckle time. There are how many days in January? Sticky up your bony knuckle. There are 31 days in January. There are how many months in half a year? Well, I know, let me just make this a bit larger. There are 12 months in a year, so I'm going to divide. I haven't got a divide, so I'm just using that sign, I'm sorry. 12 divided by two, because that's giving me the half, is six. So there are six months in half a year. And there are how many days in five weeks and three days? Well, there are seven days in one week, so seven times five totals 35. Okay. And then I'm adding those extra three days, 35 add three totals 38. So those are our three answers to those questions. 31 days in January, six months in half a year, 38 days in five weeks and three days. Okay, next few questions. Circle the true statement. Read that question really carefully. How many of them are you going to be circling? Just one. Read them through, work them out, have a go. Tell me which statement is the correct one. There are 17 days in three weeks. There are 24 months in two years. There are 50 weeks in one year. Which one is correct and why are the others incorrect? So 17 days in three weeks. Well, I know there are seven days in a week. Multiply by three, seven, three is 21. I know my times tables. So that one, mm -mm, incorrect. There are 24 months in two years. 12 months in one year. So I get doubling 12. 12 times two, 24. So yes, that one is correct. However, before I circle it, I'm just always going to double check by making sure that the last statement is incorrect, is false. There are 50 weeks in a year. No, that one is incorrect. It is false because there are 52 weeks in a year. So I'm just going to make sure I answer the question by circle. It's not the best circle, but it will do for now. There are 24 months in two years. Tick. Okay. Match the durations. Duration is just the mathematical word for how long something lasts. So you've got some durations down here and some durations down here, but they are in different units of time. So you need to match the correct ones with their partners. So have a go at that. Okay. 28 days. Well, 28 divided by seven, because I'm looking for weeks, aren't I? It's not going to be years. So 28 days, so that's my line tool. 28 days, 28 divided by seven, seven times four, four times seven is 28. So 28 days is the same as four weeks. Okay. Then two weeks. Well, one week is seven days, two times seven, 14. Oh, no, don't move that. Draw a line there, Mrs. O'Connor. There we go. Good to see I have these board problems, even when I'm working on my home computer, eh, children? And then 18 months. Well, 12 months is one year. 12 divided by two is six. So half of a year is six. So one year and a half year is 18 months. Have I got my line tool on? Yes, I have. Ta-da! Okay. Let's have a look at our next question. So circled the longest duration. Have a go at this. One month, three days, two weeks. Okay, well... Two weeks is 14 days, so that's definitely longer than three days. And one month is generally, where's my pen? Is generally 28, 30, or 31 days. Apart from an leap year, and February is 29 days, so that's the longest duration. Okay. Amit is eight years and 11 months old. Jerry is five months older than Amit. Alex is six months younger than Jerry. How old is 
Alex. So this is a multi-step question. You're going to have to do a couple of bits to get your answer. You can't just go straight to it. So have a go at this one. Before you do, I'm going to give you a little clue that you are best off starting out with working how old Jerry is. Well, if Jerry is five months older than Amit and Amit is eight years and 11 months old, once Amit achieves another year in age or ages another month, sorry. Once Amit ages another month, try that again, he will be nine years old because eight years and 11 months add a month is eight years and 12 months, but we don't say eight years and 12 months, we say nine years. So that's added one month and then we've got another four months to add. So Jerry is nine years and four months old. So that's first step. So now uh, let's see how Alex compares to Jerry. Well, Alex is six months younger than Jerry. So if we take away those four months from Jerry, that would give us nine years or the same as eight years and 12 months. And we've already taken away four months. We've got to take away another two. So that would be eight years and 10 months. Okay, so Alex is eight years and... 10 months old. Brilliant. Okay. So George is going camping. Lucky old George. He starts his trip on the 28th of March. He camps for two weeks in Cornwall, then camps for five days in Devon. What date does he finish camping? Have a go at solving this one. Use the, ca uh, the calendar tool on your screen to help you to work out. So pause the video, help you to work, help you self to work out, sorry, and then have a go. Right, so to solve this, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be making little marks all over my calendar is mark out the 28th of March because that's when he started his trip. Now, as you will notice, March is not actually on our calendar. However, I know my month of the year, January, February, March, April. So March is the month that precedes, that comes before April. So if April the 1st is on this Sunday, April Fool's Day, April the 1st is on this Sunday, then this Saturday the 30, 31st must be the last day in March. So the 28th of March is actually here, Wednesday the 28th of March. Okay, This would be the 27th and the 26th, they've just not put them on. And this one here has a blank because actually it's now the beginning of April. So it's gone down into that next month. So that day is just down there. These days in April don't have anything on because they were actually in March and then the calendar carries on down here and so on and so forth. So he camps for two weeks in Cornwall. Well, actually you can see on the calendar, if I count my days, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a week is directly under one another. Okay, so the week after, if one day is on a Wednesday, the week after, seven days later, will also be on a Wednesday. So if he camps for two weeks in Cornwall, he'll be camping there until the 11th of April. So I've done that bit. Then camps for five days in Devon. I'm going to change my colour just to make it a bit more exciting. So then I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five days in Devon. What date does he finish camping? He finishes camping on Monday the 16th. Right. Erica and Elijah are discussing weeks. Elijah says there are 49 days in seven weeks and Erica says there are 50 days in seven weeks. Who is correct and explain why? Have a go at that one. Well, if we are looking at how many days there are in seven weeks, I am going to think of how many days are in one week is seven. So we're looking at seven multiplied by seven. That totals 49. So the child who was correct, let's see if I can do a better circle this time, is Elijah. And Elijah is correct. We can just explain that because seven times seven is 49. There are seven days in a week, seven lots of seven, 49. Okay. That's it for our video learning today, children. You are now going to go and have a go at your sheet. Remember, you can rewatch the video if you need a bit of extra help. Make some notes for yourself. Always refer back to them. Scribble over things if you need to. Make notes to convert times. Do whatever you need to do to make life easy for yourself. So remember, don't hold everything in your brain. Get things out. Work things through step by step. Good luck and enjoy your learning. And I'll see you soon for the next one. Bye, children.